here at Creator Council Campaign. I'm Alia Khan, a communications intern, and I'm joined by Chris, who is a member of the West Ealing Committee, and he's going to talk to me about why he's here and what his committee is doing. Well, as, uh, I'm Chris, and I'm from the West Ealing Neighbours uh, Committee, uh, which is a local organisation in, uh, in West Ealing. Uh, and basically, we're a group of residents that have set up to promote uh, living in West Ealing, promote business and promote lifestyle and all those sorts of great things about living in our local community. And I'm here because we're really interested in getting more representation for our local residents. Our group's got 300 people in it, um, but we actually straddle three or four ward boundaries. So it's very difficult to get the council to listen to us because there's no democratic voice for them other than our organization. And so what I want to do is see if we can form any other alliances with other local residents groups and come up with other local issues that interest them as well and so we can come together with one voice and then engage with the council and get the things we want to do because the council is doing a lot of things like uh, regenerating local estates changing uh, parts of the, the traffic of this local junction that we want to have uh, fixed and the council is sort of pulling its uh, heels a little bit on that we want to make sure that the local people actually have a voice that they deserve so um how did you you say that 300 you've got around 300 members how did you first discover this level of interest? Did they all come to you, or was there some kind of survey? Well, I've only been with the organization for three years. It's been going for five. But from what I understand, a lot of personal contacts, school contacts, a lot of email. We, uh, we're involved with the local churches. We do things like craft fairs. We uh, leaflet at the local farmers' markets. So there's lots of sort of community events. We have public meetings that we advertise and local billboards and online as well. So it's kind of all sorts of, you know, so social media, so print, social media, kind of every everything. So An amalgamation of things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's been sort of, it's a gradually increasing uh, database of members. Some leave, some arrive. It's gradually increasing and we just want a lot more. So what do you think about... Um, sort of community representation in terms of local town and parish councils? Do you think they are the best medium or vehicle for achieving local democracy? Well, I mean, from what I've seen from tonight, they seem to me to be a lot better than certainly what we have in Ealing, which is the ward forum system, where in Ealing we have the local ward forums and you might get sort of 10 or 15 interested people turn up, but they're always the same 10 or 15 interested people. And you very rarely get a sort of an expanded group of people who are interested in a certain issue uh, and who are able to sort of comment on things that aren't just, just the one thing. So <clears throat> I think the local council, parish council is what's being suggested here tonight. would be a really good way of engaging with a wider group. And it also, even the name of it, local parish council, sounds better than neighborhood organization or, or this and that. I think it, it, it's, it sounds like you've got a lot more power and a lot more ability to do things because you've, you've got everyone behind you rather than just this local group or that local pressure group or that sort of thing. I think one of the points that was brought up is that um, single forum groups, single issue groups, um, tend to capitalize these uh, meetings and they don't represent everyone Whereas town and parish councils are demo they're democratic, they're elected, and they represent everyone's views, and everyone has a voice. Absolutely. I, I mean, interestingly, West Ealing Neighbours was founded as a single issue group, pretty much. I mean, we, there was a local junction that I was talking about earlier that doesn't have uh, pedestrian crossings on it, and so we found uh, because of that. But what we found was people were coming to us with other issues, like you know, uh, there's uh, historic lamp posts that were nearby that they wanted to save as well. Um, people have got a local fruit, lot of local fruit trees because Ealing is an orchard, old orchard area. And so now we go around and take their fruit and turn it into juice and press it as well. So we've grown from a sort of one or two issue group to something huge. And we do uh, things with book swaps as well and, and sort of getting people involved in lots of different ways. So I think the idea of a local parish council would be a really good way of actually maybe making it singly or sort of only a couple of issue group into something much bigger that everyone can belong to and everyone can do things with. So um, there's been a lot of national interest in local town parish councils, especially with the localism bill. Um, and so the spotlight is on this sector. Do you think that we can sustain the momentum? Do you think your community group can sustain the momentum? I don't know. It's a difficult question, to be honest. Um, it sounds like it's a lot of work. And, it sound, and obviously there are always lots of different community groups who are op often operating at cross purposes or they've got often they are single issue, they've got this thing and they want to get that done and that's kind of it. 
So it's a matter of getting a lot of different people to talk to each other and work together. I think what you will need is you will need a group of very, very committed people who have the time and the energy to be able to do it. And also then you need councils to be able to come to the party as well. And councils be able to say, okay, we recognize that people are going to try and set up. And rather than being competitive, actually trying to work with them and saying, okay, we want you to do it because actually it means an easier time for us because you'll represent people in a certain area much better than we can. You'll spend their money better. And quite frankly, it's less that we have to do. So everyone needs to, it sounds very cliche, but everyone needs to come together and make it work. And they have to do it right. It's going to take a lot of work and you just need a lot of really committed people. And hopefully they're there. But I think tonight with Create a Council campaign networking event is a wonderful example of that coming together. Thank you very much, Chris.